let us see will be rectifier yeah uh, center tapped will be rectifier well, what we see uh, as compared to a few rectifier which was having only one right here would be rectifier uh center tap could be rectifier is having two dash t1 and t2 well these then transformer right there is a transformer okay uh, which is going to note this higher potential higher uh, signal higher voltage to uh, lower voltage so this this particular step down transformer right? so what have this second point of this transformer is going to have three terminals so okay? this one this one and a particular is center point of this coil uh yeah, right there is going to be a um, connection at the center of this secondary point so we call this as center tap and yeah uh definitely there is so uh, going to be voltage present at this uh, particular uh, point right and the terminals remain here okay uh the potential on this terminal is going to vary respect to this center uh, tap point right so yeah so this is obviously center tap transformer uh, how we are uh, it is constructed right and q is terminal uh, both the terminal of this transformer we have connected in series this drives d1 d2 and they are again connected here in series with a particular lower uh, low register of the uh are any device you know, that we have worked on right yeah. so what happens uh yeah whenever uh we are having a ac signal at this input of the transformer of course the secondary coil is going to you know generate this particular uh signal right so this uh, point here this is going to be at uh, first potential and this uh point here is going to be at new potential or this first positive upside of this AC input, right? Okay. And uh, what we can say as there uh, the positive potential is approved and the negative potential is happening in fact. Because the positive potential is happening at this terminal uh, that is anode of this speaker, we can say that this diode is going to be forward wise. And while the negative potential here, uh, which is going to appear across this diode due to, so we can say that this time is going to be reversed by so this is off and this is on so current flow from this transformer then due to then to this road register and this ground okay so for positive half cycle we can say that uh current is uh flowing through this d1 d1 is on so the current is going to be d1 in the resistance okay okay and when uh negative half cycle uh, is going to occur at uh, this input of this transformer, right? So, yeah, definitely uh, uh, there is a reversal of this voltage, right? The same uh, thing is going to happen at right? secondary uh, of this, uh, uh, this transformer, right? So, what we see that uh, uh, as uh, voltages are reversed, right? Yeah, voltages uh, are getting reversed. So, this terminal will get near and this lower terminal will get positive so if as the uh, upper terminal is going to be negative uh, the diode d1 is going to be reverse bias and this will be turn off right and as this lower terminal uh, positive potential will happen because this time so this diode will get forward bias and it will turn on so this what the current is going to flow like this from this transform then this diode and then this resistor and to the ground so so this is how uh negative um up cycle is going to affect this uh, operation of this stack. So this is how we, uh, we have design this for the circuit, right? So uh, if we look at this paper, so suppose uh, this is a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the voltage across this point A and this voltage across this point B, this, uh, this point A and this point B, right? We can say that this half of voltage is happening uh, across uh, this uh, uh, with respect to this center, right? Uh, so what we say so, so this is the way from the point A and from right? so when this uh, particular uh, voltage uh, that is a for um, yeah for positive half cycle we see that this diode is d1 and for negative half cycle diode d2 is in so yeah 
for uh, then we could get the when D1 is on, so then we would get this voltage of Russell Lowe, then when D2 is on, uh, D2 is on. so when D2, uh, D2 is on, then again, there will be a voltage appearing across this curve. So, this what for even this cycle, we will be getting our particular voltage at this point. Right? So, uh, so, for this complete cycle, right, the input cycle, for our complete input cycle, right. But we can say uh, that uh, we are going to get some proof uh, like this. That is, uh, for every half cycle, we are going to get the output for positive uh, device will be conduct. So we get the uh, particular voltage for the two cycle duties will be conduct. So we get this uh, voltage across this uh, resistor and so on. So we see that this complete full cycle of this input signal has been rectified. So this type of rectifier is called full wave rectifier. That's it. We see. Okay. And yeah, so we say that there are pulses. So this is also pulses, right? Pulsated DC rate voltages are happening uh, in, um, in this wave of right? in a pulsated manner. So this is pulsated uh, pulsated DC, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. So similarly, as uh, we have tried to analyze the performance of this uh, half wave finger, we also analyze the performance of the field rate actually. Uh, so the well, yeah uh, when we uh, say that we have to calculate this parameter so we know that this signal all right we will be the value happen to just change it for right uh, so for for example this the value is happening actually so for uh every uh, step values has changed right so how much exact uh, voltage that particular device is going to cause right so for that purpose we are going to take the mean or average right so we are going to calculate the average value for each cycle yeah, for DC uh, values, we can calculate average value. But for AC cycle, right, when we try to calculate average values, this is passive B positive and this is also um, B negative. Right? So BP minus B is positive BP and minus BP if we try to uh, take the average, right? So plus BP and minus BP uh, result into zero. So the addition of this complete cycle, uh, which addition of this uh, voltage over this complete cycle, we take it to zero. But that doesn't happen, so uh, we have to take the measure. Uh, so what measure are we going to take? We are uh, going to take the full mean square of this or this square. This means positive value is square plus negative value is square, and um, then under root of those values that is R minus square, right? And we will get that to power or voltage. So average value of uh, the output voltage VDC is equal to plus uh, by five. Either, while the average, uh, average uh, output current, right, uh, that is IDC is going to press and, and output DC power is VDC in the IDC. Right? Then similarly, RMS value of the output voltage is going to be the RMS, right, and it is going to be, yeah, uh, it is going to be uh, twice, uh, uh, it simply, uh, what do we say, uh, VM upon under root 2, and uh, 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 yeah. And uh, the average, uh, not average, RMS value of the output current is going to be I in one under two, right? Um, then output DC power is going to be the RMS into RMS. Efficiency, efficiency has to be calculated as uh, DC power upon DC power, and for the unit, the efficiency is uh, 81.2%. And the ripple factor, ripple factor is nothing but the amount of DC content that is going to be present in this uh, DC one. This is not complete DC, right? There are certain fluctuations. Means of uh, a signal capacity of what DC values plus AC values, right? These are kind of something uh, variations are there. These are nothing but the or ripples. Okay. So this AC values that uh, are formed here, right? So that's uh, causing the ripples. Right? So you have to calculate this ripple factor. How many ripples are there? So it is so calculated with this uh, DC. So for full wave rectifier, it's set at a certain uh, ripple factor is uh, 0 0.88. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, then the transformer utilization factor, the transformer utilization factor is the uh, relation of basic power of the mm -hmm. and the AC ratings of the transformer. So, the PV0 uh, secondary voltage into secondary current rate. For TEF, uh, it is up to 0 0.693 for this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the rectifier actually. Yeah. Um, 
then peak inverse voltage, right? So peak inverse voltage is nothing but the voltage that is going to be acting um, along this uh, diode, right? This along this diode when it is a reverse wire. So uh, what we see is that uh, when uh, this diode is reverse biased, right? So what we see the total voltage that is going to be acting that is equal to twice okay? So the peak inverse voltage uh, along the diode of uh, this full be rectified in set at a transformer is going to be twice VR. Okay. Uh, so if we try to uh, calculate the advantage of full rectifier or half a rectifier, we will see that the image will be twice. Right? And um, this, more voltage is going to be at full rectifier. And then efficiency is increased from 40 percent to this 80 percent then lower ripple factor which was uh, previously 121 in case of half rectifier and here it is 48% right then better TVF uh, as compared to half rectifier and yeah and uh, no possibility of transforming core saturation okay? so these are some advantages uh, let us see some products of full uh, rectifier with center tap transformer because center tap uh, transformer construction is complex and so it is going to be uh, costly right and the peak inverse voltage uh, that is very uh, the styles are good than the plus we right? So, yeah, so when you research diodes, uh, you can stand uh, at such higher rate. Uh, so, uh, these are the you know, some of the struggles, and which are to be eliminated with the, uh, the uh, other type of uh, retina that's very rich. Yeah,